water bowl is frozen. We are in a huge rush this morning. We're fighting to uh, get a standing chance to finish harvest tomorrow in Kansas, hopefully. We have 238 acres left and two blocks. First thing to do this morning is to pull the headers off, or well, my header. Mom's header's already off because it broke down yesterday. But we're gonna be moving fields today and start cutting immediately. I can easily do 200 acres a day with the yield of the Milo here. Um, 230 is a stretch though. I don't know if I'll be able to finish today. Tomorrow, mom and dad are leaving to a wedding and the plan was to take everyone back home. Um, obviously, if we have stuff here to do, then we can't all go back home. But we're kind of hoping that, you know, the 30 acres, let's just say tomorrow that we have left, we can do that before we drive home. So we're trying to hurry up is what I'm trying to say. header on and it'll slowly slow down and speed up. And I'll slowly slow down and speed up. And my yeah. monitor is going crazy. Turn your header back on. Here it's surging. Like my recording is is slowing down. Do you, do you hear it? What is going on? Halloween is over. I don't know why it's being a spooky thing. Do you hear it surging? It's going in and out right now. I got all sorts of stop codes. Hydraulic charge pressure switch problem. Okay, well now it just killed everything. And it won't, I don't have any hydraulic anything. Transmission supply pressure below normal. Main gear case pressure low. Debris management fan not functioning correctly. Engine derated. really sucks. The combine is loaded up with grain also. Hey, what just happened? I just stripped the engine coupler. So, we're gonna take that header off because, well, mom's combine is just fine. Her headers broke down, my combines broke down, and my headers just fine, so we're gonna swip swap. So, the plan is to lower the header um, through some hydraulic valves on the side of the combine. We are going to unhook some stuff, that way it can move freely without the combine being turned on. We're gonna back mom's combine up to that combine hook a chain to it and drag it backwards um, and then we'll unhook from that combine and then hook that header onto this combine and we're going to start cutting. Now it is. This is not on the block. Now it is, just not on the block yet.
Oh look, we're in the exact same spot, just with mom's combine. That was a roller coaster of emotions. Okay, I don't know how many hours that took, but everything is hooked up. My combine's back there somewhere limping, and uh, we're gonna go custom Milo. I don't know if y'all can see that far or not, but John Deere brought out two pickups. Well, one service truck and one pickup. Normally when John Deere brings out two vehicles, it's not gonna be a very cheap fix, let's just say that. I was told that to put a new engine coupler in that combine is gonna take seven and a half hours. Now, I don't know if that's right or not, but they're just now starting and it's 2.20 in the afternoon, so that's like pushing till 10 o'clock at night before they get done. So here's what the new part looks like. Um, this black rubber piece is what's stripped off. I'll put it right here on the screen. Um, that way, you know, y'all aren't looking at it through a picture. So that's kind of what that looks like. Well, we finished with this 90 acre section over here. There's wheat planted in between this one field. So this little section and there's a section over there. I don't know how many acres is in that one, but um, there's wheat planted in between here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go out on the road and go down and then hop over there. After that far piece right there, then I have four dry land corners to do um, and then that's it. couple of deers looking at a couple of deers am I right it's that time of day that there's like absolutely no wind so all the dust coming out the back of the combine makes it look like fog they're so curious they're probably wondering what I am I mean, come on. This has to be the best office view there is. I mean, how can you get much better than that? Cody lost the light game. Okay, the next field is, is that one right there. There's four corners around the circle. But first I'm gonna eat my food. You can see some dry land corners. Um, it's at an angle like this, and then the turn rows are at a circle. Cutting in a circle is the quickest way to pick up acres because you never have to pick up your header and turn around. You just pick up your header 
when I get over there where the pickups are and I just scoot over 40 feet and then I start in again, you know, the, my turn row is, you know, that much. That being said, I'm just going to sit here and keep on doing circles all night long um, until I get a good portion of this done or until I fill up everything. So right now I'm at 10 acres. This is a 80 acre block or 80 acres in the four corners, I should say. But this is the last field for Kansas and I'm going to either cut till everything is full or cut until, well, I don't know if I'll finish this tonight. It is 7 o'clock and I'm doing 30 acres an hour, 8, 7, 8, 9, it'd be 10 o'clock when I got done, which that isn't horrible. But the next problem is, is the 80 acres going to fit on one truck and one grain cart? Probably not. So um, if it doesn't fit, that's no big deal. Uh, we will wake up in the morning and, you know, cut what is left when the elevator is open. Um, and then we will leave and go back to Central Texas tomorrow. Well, that is a wrap on Kansas Milo Harvest. You're probably wondering how much I did today. I did 242 acres, and I can feel every single acre in my body. Tomorrow, Ben's that we are done. Um, everyone is going to go back to Central Texas and see family and friends for a little bit. Um, Y'all might be wondering where's next or are we harvesting next I really don't know um, the next job is kind of up in the air right now so I don't know if this is the last day of harvest for the year or what um, it could have been it could have not been we don't know yet that also means that the next video that will be out uh, will be move day which we will be going home for a couple of days um, and then coming back here and getting stuff ready to load and all of that. So I don't know when the next video will be out. It might be a week or something like that. But if you're interested on where we're going next, um, stick around for move day. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank y'all for watching and y'all have a good day.